Hey everyone, I'm Case Aiken, and last time at the end of the video I did an Ubermensch roundup, and during that I brought up Big Bang Comics. So I might as well get into their Superman analogs. I'll start with my personal favorite of the line, Thunder Girl. So Big Bang was founded on doing love letters to the Golden and Silver Age books, but really invested in those without the brevity or meta-commentary that other efforts had. This was a whole lineup of clever homages. Thunder Girl filled two roles for the line. She was from Earth B, the Golden Age setting, and was their answer to Captain Marvel, a slot that was also sometimes filled by Mighty Man on loan from Eric Larson. But at some point she found her way over to Earth A, the Silver Age setting, and started playing the part of Silver Age Supergirl. In her initial form, she was a librarian named Molly Wilson, who shouted Alakazam to be struck by the magical lightning of nature and given superpowers. It was a pretty spot on nod to the big red cheese, complete with similar villains. For a fan like me, this was great. When she found herself on Earth A, Molly's powers went crazy and she became trapped in her powered form. So she took to wearing a wig for her secret identity. She also took mentorship from Ultiman, their direct Superman parallel, furthering the Supergirl comparison. Now, Big Bang is doubly a nostalgia trip for me. I discovered them in the early internet days and voraciously read about them, but means of reading the actual books weren't available. Years later, I was finally able to get a hold of these love letters to comics history, and they did not fail. Nowadays, Big Bang is back, doing a new series of Big Bang Adventures, which Thunder Girl has appeared in. It's great to see the character in new stories. That said, the reason I don't have more to say is that she's a fairly straightforward, albeit very solid tribute to two of my favorite characters. She has a bit of a nature theme, but doesn't stray too far into that. She's a perfect representative of Golden Age Fawcett books, which I love to death, as well as Silver Age Supergirl books, which I really enjoy. Definitely check out the current series and see if you can dig up some of her past adventures. Now, even though my Captain Marvel bias leads me to think the most fondly of Thunder Girl, she's also far more straightforward than Tomorrow's Offering. So next time, we'll be talking about Ultiman. But until then, stay super, man. Hey, I just want to thank everyone for staying to the end of the video. Please do all the YouTube stuff to help the channel grow, like, subscribe, etc. You should also find the podcast that goes along with this series, Men of Steel. You can find it at CertainPOV.com or wherever you get your podcasts. And hey, check out the Discord for Certain POV. There's a link on our website and down below. Come and interact with us directly. It's a great time, but until next time, thanks for watching.